Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Professor Lavender and today I've got two really exciting boxes with some more queer content and I handpicked these two because of their relationship to queer identities in the Pokemon world and I'm going to talk about those today. So the first that we have is the Meowth VMAX and the second is the Poltergeist V box which these have been out for a while now. They're still filling the shelves of Walmarts and Targets everywhere. So I picked up these two because as I've talked a little bit about on my channel before, both Poltergeist and Meowth have a history uh, and queer identities. Uh, Meowth because of his voice actor and Poltergeist for actually being a Pokemon that's non-binary. So first I want to talk about the late Matty Blastein and Matty is really well known in the Pokemon community as the first transgender woman voice actor to play Meowth. And Maddie wasn't the original Meowth voice actor, but she really came on the scene towards the later of the 90s and also really well known for her role of voice acting Meowth in the Pokemon movie franchise. She's had a pretty wide career, uh, specifically in comics. She's worked with the Marvel comic universe and uh, Milestone Comics where she developed the first transgender female superhero, which is huge. And one of the most exciting things is that she's also helped publish some comics in DC. She's most known, as I've mentioned, for her voice acting for four kids entertainment and uh, has also been known in the Second Life gaming as Kendra Bancroft. So she worked also in some of that development, but also found throughout many other anime English dubs, such as in Yu-Gi-Oh, Mario and Sonic, those video games, Sonic X. So her voice is actually everywhere and you may not have noticed. Unfortunately, Maddie passed away on December 11th, 2008, at the very young age of 48 due to an untreated stomach virus. So I wanted to make this video today to not only acknowledge her accomplishments, I wanted to extend my love and compassion to the trans community who've seen Maddie as an icon in pop culture, as someone who has demonstrated success and representation in her characters and in her activism, political work, but also most specifically the work that she has done in these very cultural texts. And that is really one of the main reasons why I picked up the Meowth V Max pack because I wanted to extend my appreciation for Maddie, but also talk about her contributions today on my channel. I wanted to end this section of the video in memory of Maddie by repeating a quote Meowth states at the end of the first Pokemon movie. Maddie and Meowth say, we do have a lot in common. The same earth, the same air, the same sky. Maybe if we started looking at what's the same instead of what's different, well, who knows. And that quote is really special to me, but also special to the queer community and really what we recognize as what's magical and impactful of Meowth and Maddie in that film. As we move towards the Poltergeist V box, we could talk about what it means to be non-binary. When we look at the definition of non-binary, we consider that there are people who don't feel or don't fit within the gender norms of the gender binary of male and female. Or that some people feel as though they blend both. And also, there are people who don't identify with any genders. And people's genders also may change over time. So when we look at Pokemon like Poltergeist, Sinistee, some of the fairy Pokemons that are have unknown gender, we acknowledge that there are also people who may have genders unknown or have genders that don't fit what culturally we associate 
as heteronormative. When we talk about appreciating and supporting non-binary people, there are a few very easy ways in which we can do that. Some suggestions include, you don't have to understand what non-binary means to respect them. Just simply believe and acknowledge that humans have the capability of understanding their desires, their needs, their bodies, and who they are. And that it's okay for you to not understand that in order to support them and allow people to live fruitful and equitable lives. Use the name that somebody asks you to. There is nothing difficult about addressing somebody by their name. For instance, I tend to go by Steffi. People don't have a problem doing that. I also now go by Professor Lavender on Instagram. People are still not having a problem doing that. If anybody can have a hypothetical avatar username and people stand by that, why is it so difficult to name somebody what they want to be named? Just like you want to be named your name. Try not to make assumptions of people's gender. And this is interesting when we look at the Pokemon world because we talked about this based off of the gender attachment to a very feminine-like Pokemon like Lapras, but that Lapras actually can be male in the video games and in the franchise. So although you may read Lapras more feminine, doesn't mean that not Lapras is some, and that's okay. And it's just really important that you support that that Lapras may be male or that that Machoke might be female. And I would ask you to extend that to the people in your circle in your lives. If you're not sure what pronoun somebody use, ask them. And also start normalizing, including pronouns in your email signatures, in your bios, in your Instagram bios. That makes sharing pronouns much easier when we see everybody use them. Advocate for non-binary friendly policies. For instance, in your workplace, advocate for gender binary washrooms or genderless washrooms. Advocate for funding to help the cost of gender affirming surgery. And don't marginalize people who do not want to use surgery or any gender affirming drugs or accommodations. People should identify how they want without feeling the need to do gender affirming surgery so that you feel more comfortable with their gender. So these are just really simple ways of sharing kindness and compassion. We hear about a lot of people in the Pokemon community emphasizing kindness and compassion. These are how you can do it. Look at Pokemon as being one of the most compassionate stories of friendship and love and acceptance and use that in your everyday lives. And if you do that, you will be able to save someone's life. You will be able to create bonds and friendship with people who are some of the most exciting, interesting, creative people in the world. Now to end this on a really fun note, and I promise we're gonna get into box opening very soon. The Apens Pokemon Cafe announced that they're going to be selling Sinistee and Poltergeist porcelain uh, figures of teacups and teapots that are actually usable and that these will be shown in uh, some of the Pokemon cafes. I'm really excited. Uh, I just painted a Sinistee, but I think they're adorable. So if you can get your hands on it, do it. This is something that's really exciting that's happening. So without further ado, I've given you all of your queer facts for the week. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Poltergeist. I also wanna give out a big shout out to this new mat I got. Uh, I've posted it on Instagram. Check out this Etsy store if you want something similar. It is so freaking cute. 
All right, so I've opened Poltergeist V-Box before when they first came out. And I want to say that these V-Boxes, I tend to be incredibly lucky in now that I said that I'm not because I'm on video. But I find them very lucky compared to like the Champion's Path uh, boxes that have come out. I think part of it is that these boxes tend to have more diverse booster packs in comparison to some of the more specific uh themes theme decks so i'm excited i just wanted to show you this box so to start we get the poltergeist promo card like we normally do in these boxes it's very cute and then we get the full size which again are really really fun i don't know what people are doing with these are you collecting them i have one framed uh we put them kind of in those comic book slabs i'm not i think eventually we're going to frame them all but i'm not really sure what to do with these it seems uh more of like an art collection thing which i love for sure okay so this one we get four booster packs we get the rebel clash sword and shield and steam siege we're gonna go through these, and as usual, I'm gonna send you this card. I've been having so much fun with all of you, and I just wanted to share um, some love for those of you who might be in Ontario. We're actually apparently locking down uh, on Christmas Eve, and at one so i actually usually record these a day or two before tuesday so i have time to do some editing and uh we're supposed to find out complete lockdown rules in 10 minutes so just sending you love and compassion especially to those of you who you know haven't seen your families in a long time and can't see them because of this but also some of you who may not have support uh, and are struggling because of a lack of work opportunities and just generally feeling unsafe. That's beautiful. What a great card. So just sending you all that, that love. And while we're doing this, uh, I am really excited about that Samurott. <laughs> It's a pretty cute reverse hollow. Here is the card for you. We got a Palpitoad, a Capture Energy, a Chatot, a Clefairy. This this Clefairy artwork is adorable. Voltorb, Nose Pass. I've actually have never seen this Pokemon before. I feel like that's weird that that still happens, that I have not seen all Pokemon. Wingle, Phantom, Reverse, Hollow Coughing, and Chandelure. Um, this one's adorable. I love the Chandelure. We actually build a lot of theme decks here in the house. And one of them that my partner built was like a Halloween creepy deck, ghost deck, and uh, the Lampant and the Chandelure are some of the most seen in it, and the Phantom as well, so that's really, really cute. All right, two more from this box. Also very on theme for the Poltergeist. The Poltergeist is also in that deck, so it's uh, very on theme with this box. Got a green energy, Morgram, Medicham, a Pokeball, an Aplin, Hatena, another queer Pokemon we've talked about, Aracudo, Galarian Meowth. I just caught a Galarian Meowth yesterday in Sword and Shield. Surskit, reverse, another reverse hollow coughing. And Baracle. Okay, well, I mean, we're getting some cute ghostly Pokemon. At least you got some Pokemon queer facts. You came here for that, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. 
Uh, I'm really excited, actually, for the holidays, despite this whole COVID thing. Um, it's the first year we're actually just hanging out by ourselves. There's a Vulpix, Luna, Rosalia, Choodle. So we're going to spend the entire holiday break just sorting cards and playing video games. Lantern, check out this one. That one's beautiful with the little thunderbolts. And a Turninator. Okay, so we didn't get very many hits in this box, but we got hits of facts, so that's definitely rewarding, and that's exciting. So we're gonna get on to the Meowth VMAX. And this one has five packs, so let's see. I know I jinxed myself at the beginning when I said that I usually pull great cards in these boxes. I apologize for that. Makes for an uneventful hit video. This one's particularly stuck together. Wow, this one really doesn't want to be opened. Hopefully it's not resealed. Do you ever notice that? Does anyone have any advice on how to find if a box is resealed? Like if it's this sticky? Do you think somebody opened it and then glued it themselves? really kind of struggling with it. The box is pretty actually in pretty rough shape so let's hopefully we are still able to pull something exciting. Okay so as we looked at the VMAX boxes actually have two promos which are really exciting. At least we have the Meowth V and then the Meowth V Max. I'm going to show you these two. The Meowth VMAX artwork is pretty cool. Yeah, these are cute. Let's put this aside. And then the Meowth VMAX massive promo card. Max Gold Rush. Actually, that's not bad. 200 plus draw three cards. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we have the Cosmic Eclipse, the Unified Mind, Sun and Moon Guardian Rising, Cosmic Eclipse, and then Evolutions, which apparently is like the pack of this month. People are going outrightly all over the place crazy over evolution so we're gonna open that up here and then that's for you okay let's get into it my one of my favorite packs is the unified mind because i love espion oh this pack looks so pretty on this on this game mat i love the unified minds i just think they're very very cute And the energies are interesting too. They're a lot more like, I don't know how to explain it, really like techno, I guess. Spaceshipy. Ooh, an Archon. A Yamega. Earring Bell. Meditite. Shroomish. Slackoff. A Drifloon. A Dewpider. Reverse Hollow Fungus. Oh, check that out. And we got a Tag Team Mega Splay and Tyranidar. So we got a hit. Excellent. Let's put that in a sleeve. So, I mean, cool. That's what you would expect, right? In a Unifying Minds as a Tag Team. So we did that thing. Good job. Cosmic Eclipse. I don't know much about the Cosmic Eclipse. Um, grouping. I've opened a few, I just don't know much about them. They also have that really cool energy. Uh, Cricketune, Adelmi's, Island Challenge, Amulet, a Piplup. Oh, I don't have this Piplup, that's cute. And the Lowland Vulpix, Rockruff, Stuffle, Rowlet. Reverse Hollow Will and the Draw Dog. Okay. Okay. 
we're gonna do in Guardian. I'm doing this in no particular order except for the fact that I want to do the two last choice at the end. So we have a water energy, Komala, Enhanced Hammer, Aquapatch, Snow Run. Oh, this is a different, I don't also don't have the Snow Run. Uh, look at that artwork. That is adorable. That's so cute. If you're a fan of Snow Run, definitely get this one. Cast Form, a Vanillite. That's also very cute. Murkrow, Saladite. Reverse Hollow Pancham, and a Metacross. That's hit number two, dos, do. Well, we've got two hits in one box, so good on you, Meow. Thank you, it's like we've got some Meow power coming through. All right, Cosmic Eclipse, and then we'll end with the Evolutions. have a fire energy. Ooh, a Flareon. I, I've said this, I mean, I say this all the time. I always collect the Eevee Evolution, so I'm really excited to add that one to my collection. Roller Skate, Clefairy, another queer Pokemon. Coughing, a Drillbur, a Swirlix, a Cricketot, a Woobat, a Passineon, oh, and a Volcarona. Okay, so three hits. Three hits out of five packs? Not bad. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's pretty great. All right, well, evolutions. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're interested in this video, hit subscribe. If you want to follow my weekly content, check me out on Instagram. I open packs, I share cards, mostly through sorting. I find really cool things when I'm sorting. Oh, that's, that's, I feel like this happens to me every single time I open an evolutions that I think I sh might shuffle it wrong, but I always start with this. Okay, anyways, that's fun. So we got a uh, Hollow Clefairy, Hollow Queer Pokemon, a Charizard Spirit Link, a Poliwhirl, Maintenance, Weedle, Doo Duo, Star U, Onyx, Fairy Energy, and Reverse Hollow Radigate. Well, that was actually really good. That's a, I would consider a Clefairy uh, definitely a hit. Especially since Clefairy is also considered a queer Pokemon. So that's like pretty great. So let me just show you what we got today as hits. So we got the Tag Team, the Vol Karina, the Metacross, and the Hollow Evolutions Clefairy. So thank you everybody for stopping by and again for celebrating the life of Maddie with me here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Post in the comments if there's other queer things, you, any questions you have that you want me to address through Pokemon. Sometimes it's more fun to learn about queer things through different avenues. And if you are uh, embarrassed or have questions that you want answered, send them to me and I have no problem answering them here for you. And you can also do the same by DMing me on Instagram with Professor Lavender. And let's just make the world a more kind, positive place. So thank you all again for stopping by. Take care. Happy holidays.